What's up, people lovers? It is Lan against Miguel here in the round of eight in the loser bracket. We will have the Viper as a co-caster here today. You can see the map list over here and the bracket as the top. And yeah, I'm pretty excited for this series. My prediction was 3-1 for Miguel. Let's see what the Viper has to say. And we are jumping into the game. And Indians against... Japanese. Indians is super, super sick on this map because we have a lot of shawfish here at the side and we're starting with two camels here that cannot really attack. Nearly knack. Skill soldier, thank you so much for the nine and well, that looks like a solid start for Miguel and I will say hello to the Viper. Hello. 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 So, how do you like rehydration? I think it's a really interesting map. I would like, love to play it. Please bring it to Mills Apartment Cup. Okay. Don't you feel like Thank you. Indians are way overpowered on this one? Yes, which is why I was super surprised that Lan didn't ban it. it made no sense for me that he left, let Miguel play Indians here. Might they be like the strongest Civ by far, like when it comes to all the maps, like even stronger than for example, Italians on Medi or Franks on Land Madness. What? Are they stronger on rehydration than Franks on Land Madness or Italians on Mediterranean? Yeah, yeah, I would say so. The fish bonus is just so insane. But, I mean, Japanese is like the obvious second best sim for this map, I think. Because of the cheap nails and everything, so... Um, like if any save has a chance, if this game drags on, I think Japanese is a very good save to counter Indians. But mm -hmm. it's really, it's very unlikely that it drags on, right? Uh, well, we'll see. Yesterday we have uh, had doubts playing Japanese and went like five men at arms forward there. But abused the water quite nicely, had like five mils or something. Miguel, adding mill number two as well. What do you think about going on to some sheep? Don't you think like sending all of them to the mill is a bit better or are the villagers blocking each other too much? No, I, I like the way Lan is playing. Lan is sending everything to the mills, but at the same time, he can afford mills more faster and sooner and everything. So it makes more sense for Japanese. But I know Miguel opened with like two mills on sheep and the rest on mill. Um, but yeah, Miguel's also taken the elephant here. I kind of don't like that. I would think going to the shorefish is better. Hmm. But uh, who am I? I'm just a random player. But... <laughs> yeah, it, it, I kind of have the same thoughts as with Dry River. Like, that I'm a I random player? <laughs> no. Uh, oh, okay. That, like, I think, like, completely ignoring all the sheep and the elephants isn't a bad strategy and just go for massive shorefish and the, you even have the benefit that it's now more defensively than on dry river yeah i think a real good strategy here is go for the shorefish and send a camel to the enemy's tc and pick up all their goats <laughs> that's the best strategy here yeah yeah i had that in some of my practice <laughs> games and suddenly i'm sitting there with zero sheep <laughs> yeah i mean no one has villages under the tc here so it makes a lot of sense I really like the way Lan is uh, preparing his map here. His golden stone isn't the best though, but I like the way he's walling in so he has to save food income at least. Maybe the left-hand side could have included the gold a bit better, like yeah. walling to the stone. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it even so you can make the same argument for the top right goal, right? He could make more walls more forward there, but, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, not as bad as Doubt yesterday on Arabia. <laughs> Nothing is as bad as Doubt now. Oh, God. Those walls. Uh, it's just, and he's doing that for 20 years, right? <laughs> and he's always getting punished for it. It's so weird. I've seen him, I saw him cast a series where he made comments on that and like pointed out that he should have walled there instead. But then he does the opposite himself. Oh, God. But yeah, it doesn't make, he knows about it, so it doesn't make sense. Hmm. Very strange. So scouts from Miguel, 600 food hitting fuel age. Not too bad. Not yeah. too bad. But doesn't and that this... mean that you should try to up even faster? Because pop 20 is something you can do somewhat on Arabia as well with Indians. Shouldn't you go for yeah. pop like 19 no, or 18 even? You could, but... 
Yeah, I don't... I mean, he might be expecting that that uh, Lan is walled. I mean, he's scouted that he's walled already anyway. Not yeah. that, that affected his build order, but... I don't think the super fast uptime here makes too much sense anyway. Just up with a stable economy, you're gonna have a super sick eco with Indians anyway. So, I, I mean, the, it depends on his transition now, if he goes for archers or not. I really think he should go with ranges here. If he sticks with pure stable, That I really don't think that's the best choice. Oh yeah, I think so as well. I think I would have built only one single scout and transitioned to castle age, but maybe archers is the better option, yeah. But for now, he will just, yeah. Ram his face into walls. I'm really surprised that Lan is playing stable though. That one I don't really understand. I why is he why is Lan going scouts? Huh? What did he see? He saw nothing. Yeah, I don't I mean this was his plan all along. He's already taken gold though, so it's like he went up without loom too. So it might be like early bloodlines or just I would imagine a simple fast castle because of the a stable, but yeah, I don't know why he's making scouts. Huh. Hashtag mind games. Yeah, well, why stable against Indians as well? <laughs> don't, don't <laughs> That's kind it. of the worst thing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. Especially Japanese, we have such good tools in pike, man. Crossbows. Goes for the blacksmith as well. Maybe he wants um. to take Miguel off guard, but arch like four archers and fletching are so much better as well. Yeah, but look at Miguel's resources. He just needs a, he has the blacksmith ready. He's pretty much going to click Castle Age <laughs> any second now. So sick, man, Indians on this map. 15% faster and carry 15 more. It's insane. Yeah, but I still would really like to see Miguel go archer range, but he's going to stick with the stable and go. He can go up now. I don't know why he's making up more villagers. Miguel, hello. Miguel! Aloha! Hmm. Yeah, I don't... Well, whatever. He will go up now. Yeah, he, so he should. He went up and he's still gonna get a 1645 if we cast the time. Yeah, that's pretty solid still. Yeah. <laughs> that's Maybe it's just crazy. Warding the left-hand side off, warding the right-hand side off as well. Hmm. Still has gaps though. So, I mean, five scouts from... Uh, long or out now on the right side he could still get in oh you know what miguel is not going to be wall in time those five scouts are going to do damage we we'll get all part of the plan for sure and he's up as well yeah i think lan is playing uh, playing very well so far i mean doing a good job here i still don't understand the scouts but i like how safe his base is and that he's transitioning into range now hmm yeah and like Crossbow pikeman. What do you want to see from Miguel? Probably two extracts and some. What is better, like mangled adults, or should he go for skirms? Well, I don't see any ranges from him yet. He's probably just going to stick with camel TCs for the start, and then adapt after that. Like I said, I still would have liked to see him start with with ranges right away, pretty much after he realizes that he's walled. Yeah, Lan is getting some damage here. Oh yeah. Spearman, two villagers now. Stays active. And... Yep. Yeah. Force all the scouts to be at home as well. Force some more spearmen. And the main thing is he forced all the villagers of Miguel off the shorefish. Indeed. And Miguel didn't do bloodlines, he didn't do armor upgrades or attack upgrades. So his scouts are not even strong. And Miguel is still look. taking an economic approach. He's making two TCs, bow saw, and making camels. Mm -hmm. okay, one stable only. We have everything super clumped up, and still, I, I hope he isn't transitioning into a lot of farms now. He should just ward the right hand side and send 10 vill villagers back onto the shorefish. Yeah, he does have five wheels on shorefish, six wheels in the bottom, bottom corner, though. Ah. So that's certainly helpful. But yeah, he really wants to get back on the on the rest of the short fish as well. But I think if he gets heavily pressured here with like siege, honestly, if Lan just went monk rush here, siege oh. monk with the crossbow, that can be really sick. Yeah, but monk rush on this map kind of feels counterintuitive, right? Because y your enemy can counter you with light caps so nicely, and if he has an incredible amount of food income, you can mash those light caps so well. 
That's why I said with his crossbows. Okay. Oh, land, you're open. Oh, the camera's gonna come in on the top side. Man, that is such such an unnecessary mistake. And he doesn't have loom. Oh, oh Man, God. That is such a fail. I <laughs> falling behind it now. Oh man, Titanic! And the right power side only has six HP. The camel can break that with one hit. Oh boy, if they're and there's still one more villager taking shortage. Why aren't you doing loom? <laughs> Lan, <laughs> do loom. Can we have crossbows around the map now? Lots of man, idols. Yeah, so unnecessary for them that. And I don't get why he's not doing loom still. Like, why? Why? Why not? <laughs> oh, that's gonna be good damage if he starts shooting. Okay, he's getting one villager at the stone now. But not much more. Defensive siege workshop now. Villager town should get pretty sick for Miguel here, right? Three yeah. to seize against the guy. Doesn't really have any solid food income at the moment. He's already 12 villagers ahead, and that's gonna just keep growing, at least for a little bit until Land's economy stabilizes. Now dropping farms as well, so he just needs answers to the military from Lan, and then Miguel should be in a really, really good spot. And those six villagers at the bottom, like, they are gonna bring him so much food over the course of this game. I'm pretty sure he'll go unspotted, and yeah. Okay, let's take a look at overall gathered resources miguel he has 800 more wood same food amount a bit more gold for land here but now could eat a big shot from the mangonel mangonel is trying to get around the forest here yeah honestly if lamb adds i mean miguel is doing forward monk monastery i'm not sure about that but uh, <laughs> if lamb is to add siege and monks himself here I really think he has a, a lot of potential there, but the, oh, the mangonel, okay, he sees it. Yeah, if Lan just keeps his army alive, adds siege and monks himself, I really think he has the potential to do a shit ton of damage here. Pardon my language. Um, all good, it's not the main event yet. Okay, can I not curse there? No, no, no. Fuck, man. Okay. Fuck, shit. <laughs> shit. All right, oh. you, you sure you want out to qualify? <laughs> well, he, he behaved last time, right? Well, well, well uh... by accident. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, well, well. Maybe he was just I guess, shy. I guess we're cheering for everyone else but out then. Okay, Mangonels, indeed. What do you want to see from that? Yeah, Mangonels for Lan as well and Monastery. Trying to break there, but he really doesn't want to go in against the Mangonel and Scorpions there. And that's so area. If, if you could choose one player right now, which position do you want to be in? It's Lan, right? Is it? I think so. You have the initiative, and up times Wait. aren't going to be that far apart, and you're going to have an easier army transition to Imperial Age. You're going to cause idle time. Miguel's uh, well. bolts are all super exposed as well. Miguel adding another TC. Indeed, those two gold spots are very open there, and Ooh, the aggression Mangonella, will come into Mangonella, his main gold spot. Mangonella, 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 Mangonella. Ah, Mangonella. Oh, oh man! Completely Dude. missing the first shot. Man, Mangonella. Right. Great trades for Lan. That was one monk to Mangonels against like six crossbows. And military count now. 20 to 10. Where does Miguel have 10 military? Uh, there's a camel. Three monks, Mangonel, three. <laughs> yeah. Weird army composition. Still some at the top as well. Spearman and scout. Spearman. <laughs> yeah, Miguel has no he's... gold income at the moment. Yep. Honestly, Lan, take stone. Get your Sama Towers going. Oh boy. The game is yours. Yeah. You know what yeah. Fire said before the games? That Miguel Tell is me. playing with a big hangover. Oh. At this this time? Isn't it like 5 p.m. as well for him? Oh, well, I assume so, but okay. that's what I've been Congrats told. Congrats to him. Must have been a nice Indeed. night. <laughs> Indeed.
it. Well, but who cannot play with the hangover shouldn't make it to NAC anyways. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. Hmm. Oh. Oh, this now post, man. I almost got excited. Oh. Like, honestly, oh, look how much many bills. He's putting 10 bills on stone now. He's planning to make some sort of transition. I don't know if it's to a castle drop or for towers, but both of them should be good anyway. Yeah, thanks as well. He was, Very he exposed was gold now for me, Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Miguel is going big time light cover. Three stables in the back producing light cover. I really don't think that's the right choice here. But then again, Miguel doesn't have, I mean, Lamb doesn't have too many military left. He only has about these crossbows. Uh, uh, Lamb crossbows. is actually switching into Knight now. Plus two defense, no bloodlines from him yet. That's so weird. Sam Pikeman feels so much like more Japanese style. But yeah. especially against Indians. Yeah. It is weird indeed. But like what he needs to do, he knows he's controlling the main gold of Miguel. What he needs to do is to scout the rest of the golds, figure out the situation. What is it like? He's allowing Miguel to take gold on the top side, which he really can't uh, can't at the moment. Like that's his that's his uh, big advantage here right now is the fact that he's controlling the gold of Miguel. And he scouted those two gold spots as well. Yep. So he should really go for it. Has knights around. But it's obviously easy for us. He's still microing at the front. And it's kind of annoying to attack with mangonels when your enemy has mangonels as well. Yeah, he does have redemption monks though, but so far he has lost two monks to the town center when trying to convert. So it's kind of backfired a little bit. Fourth PC as well for Lamb. So he's definitely doing a lot of economy behind this, but yeah. Still, oh, a forward castle. But still, he's like, he's like tunnel visioning on this main goal now and the two TCs, right? He's forgetting about the rest of the map. Uh, except there's one ram, which is doing a good job. I think got already got like a blacksmith and two houses or something. Oh, the and now the knights are moving. The yep. Uh, here comes the light cap. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, it's going to be a really good trade for, uh, for Miguel here. Oh, nice mango shot as well. And he's still sending the bills forward. You need to go back here, Lan. Oh no, full Titanic. Oh man. Knights are now coming over, but that was a pretty aye, bad aye, fight. Aye. And then he goes full castle age here. Iron casting, he has 100 food, and now the counter castle by Miguel. That's just weird decisions, man. <laughs> Four stable, five stable knight production now from Lan. It's so weird. Against light calf. <laughs> yeah, but Miguel was just switching the camels now, and he's fine. Yeah. What? What is this from Lan? I don't understand. It's even adding another stable. Like, sure, if you're controlling all the gold, it's fine. But he doesn't even know about the rest of the golds. This is so weird. I am so confused. Miguel doing horse color. <laughs> Thirty-three minutes. Land countering with loom. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh, he sent those bills forward without Loom as well. Oh, man. <laughs> man. What is this? Yeah, Miguel is definitely in a good spot now. 15 villages ahead. Let's take a look at resources. We have 250 or 300 food, 600 gold for land. Miguel, he will click any second once he gets enough gold. One light cab in the top has already killed two bills. There's the third bill, and Lan is not noticing. Miguel's light cap is going absolutely ham on the top. Well, if you don't spot it instantly, if you don't get the attack, it sometimes happens that you're completely... Well, and he, you never he really noticed it. it and is fighting back, but he lost two more bills, and now he doesn't have any bills attacking it anymore. <laughs> That's a hero light cap, man. Oh boy. Another okay, one? now you go oh. fighting again. Close enough. Miguel does and have two castles take... up already as well. Yeah. Could have been a more aggressive one over the right hand side goals. Yeah, for sure. But I think that was it came up probably during the time when he was being pressured. I didn't see when he put the castle up. He's picking up the wheels down at the shore fish for Miguel though in the bottom corner. Small victories, but but still. I think he kind of threw big time. <laughs> okay, what's the army composition for Miguel and Imp here? Miguel probably camel skirms. 
Well, then, probably Cavalier, man. I don't know. <laughs> uh, he, should, he should be playing Helps and Arbalest, right? But Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Nice, the 5 6 stable knights is just such a strange decision. Oh. Such a strange decision. He is at least tacking into pikemen, so yeah. that looks a bit better. And yeah, just I think like trap, tower, harbor deer should get really tricky to counter for an Indian player. Yeah, for sure. We got getting some really nice raids though at the top right with the light cap. Lan was yeah. trying to drop another castle, it's not really going up. At least Lan has Loom, right? <laughs> the bright side. Uh -huh. Nice getting hard countered by the camels in the Miguel space. Yeah, there's not a lot not a lot going from for Lan here at the moment. Yeah, his village just didn't increase in the last what is it, five, six minutes or something, because there were so many raids and RTC is not really rolling for him either. This one is idle and he's just losing so much more. The castle at least goes up, tries to get up to more TCs, but population 90 to 140. I like that he's stonewalling though, the top part. Like it's a good way to keep his eco safe, but still like he could have done this. Everything should have been, he should have been, he could have done this before and been in such a much better position if he didn't make all those silly doubt moves. <laughs> That's how I call him then now. Okay. Yeah. Two extra gold spots in the north of the map. We see Miguel expanding towards it, building his third castle there. And he's also rushing chemistry. Is, might, is he maybe going on to hand cannoneers? I would Camel and think... hand cannoneers. It might be that, yeah. He's not making skirms, so it has to be hand cannon. I think skirms would have made more sense with bomber cannons as the support unit. Camel, skirm, and bomber cannon. So it's less gold intensive, but he's, he's still, he's, he has 2,000 gold in the bank, so I think he can afford these. Question is if he does the upgrade, so he gets eight range hand cannons. I'd like to see that. He absolutely has to. Otherwise, it makes no sense to really go for them. They won't perform too well against Arbalest as well, and Lan is taking for those. So it feels Lan with a better army comp. Very ambitious like there, moving out of the trap, though. Yeah, but the reason Indians is good in this map is because of the shortfish in the early game, right? As soon as the game goes Imperial, compositions for Indians is so much harder. Especially against a sieve with Halberdier, like uh, Japanese has. Halberdier, Arbalest should counter like almost everything Indians has. So if Lan manages to stabilize and get this to 200 pop, 200 pop, then he might still have a good shot here. Hmm. Take a look. At the moment, Eco not too great for Lan. We cannot really get up there. Is queuing up a lot of villagers though. Now gets his university. Didn't really have the upgrades early on here. Even expands to the left hand side. Oh, look at that ostrich. <laughs> and mm -hmm. left hand side corner. Oh. Oh. It's trying to fly. Well, um, somebody is. Well, yeah, it's not an ostrich. Uh, yeah, it's not an ostrich. Yeah, yeah my bad. I was trying to fly somewhere into the darkness. Maybe we should watch the game. Uh, he's doing bomber cannons as well. Yeah, I don't understand hand cannons in this map and this situation. Hmm. Maybe just, just makes trying so to abuse. Sense. Yeah. I think so as well. Now he's adding some skirms, going for thumpering, going for fletching. Yeah. Bombard cannons should do a lot here. See, if he was expecting land to stay on Cavalier, hand cannons does make sense, but that doesn't make sense, right? <laughs> oh, he yeah. lost the bombard cannon to a trap. Oi! Populations are. Land is caught up in villagers. Oh, hell This is a close yeah. game again. And he keeps producing villagers. Still pretty stable everywhere. I don't like that no one is really focusing on relics for now. Plebs. Plebs. That would have had five relics by now. Uh, his macro is so good. Yep. 2018, finally. Ah, uh, bomber cannons. Getting some damage. That's a lot of bomber cannons as well. Indeed, but Arbalest. Why is Lan going back here? I don't get that. What? 
He had the heal, he had a time and we could fight there for, for and trade efficiently for a little bit more. I, I think so as well. Now he's going back, masonry trying to save his castle, but that's just wasting stone, right? Mm, I think it's more about just buying time. Yeah. yeah, he's gonna lose it anyway, but it's more about just buying time to get up to 200 population. Uh, how, how much time is he buying? Like 15 10 seconds. seconds? Okay. <laughs> Worth it. Yeah, three traps, four trap coming, there's three bomber cannons, another one coming. He doesn't have the hill anymore. I think he's over the villagers here now. Yeah, still making bills. He should have skirms of his own. Skirms helps. And then just try to trade. Yeah, Miguel is getting really good trades right now. Looking really well for for land. Uh, land somewhat housed here as well. Cannot really keep up his production. Build some archery ranges in the very top of the map as well. And well, land and imp, not the greatest one. He's completely ignoring MQ, for example. Seems that way, yeah. Yeah, I, so, I know, I know. I talked to him. <laughs> how confusing will it be if uh, land makes it to the land? How what? Say again. How confusing is it if land makes it to the land? Well, we should could have a lot of puns. Mm, true. The land finals. Oh boy. Oh boy. And then he doesn't make it to the finals, man. Then when we say it's the land finals and he's not in the, the finals. LAN, the LAN event. There's gonna be a lot of attention around him. Why? Because he's the main event on the land. Okay. Apparently. Apparently. Okay, tell tell me who's winning. Because LAN is getting higher in population here. Bomber cannons were not really in position and small hill advantage for Miguel, but not really having the numbers on that hill. I think the addition of light cap for Lan here was really good. Yeah, but still I think Lan has too many villagers here. I'm sorry. Like he's not maxed out, so it doesn't really matter, but still like... Uh, even if he maxes out now, he will have only 60 military compared to 80 of Miguel. And he's the one uh, being pushed. Lan did get the, the castle though from Miguel in the top north. He has that gold back in his in his Ooh. position. That was one sneaky trap alone, right? Yes, indeed. So much going on. Well, Lan has, I mean, switching into Imperial Camel now, apparently Miguel is. I think that would be like the name of the coffin here. Imperial Camels would... Oh, Lan is mismicling heavily here. Oh, yeah, right click one of the camels apparently there yeah. and yeah indeed Imperial camels are in i think you should have masked them up a bit more instead of like attacking with five now though i think he can. he's it's already snowballing i think it's fine what he's doing now don't you think well <laughs> i think it's somewhat <laughs> over yeah <laughs> oh. there we go easy indeed uh. That weird move um, there in mid castle age where he just had so much crossbows, didn't really have the map control against the gold. And I think, yeah, what we said, he could have just camped out this position, built the castle where Miguel has his castle now. Yeah. And could have just played um, the same safe game. Yeah, it was just a really weird. Weird. I mean, Lan played really well until to get himself into that position uh, early mid castle age but after that there was just a chain of weird choices with the castle he didn't even do loom until what 30 minutes 35 <laughs> minutes yeah and yeah the four castle didn't pay off his crossbows died he didn't have armor upgrades at all for his crossbows they were super easy targets for manganos and and light cap and he made five six stable knights with japanese against indians <laughs> yeah. i don't have words to and, and, describe and... that Decision. And scouts to begin with. Is he, if he goes for like four archers plus three spearmen, he will do so much damage in late feudal age as well. Well, it depends, right? Because oh. if Miguel scouts it, he can just make a range and have some skirms and it's hard counter already that. But yeah, I mean, the scouts actually paid off for him, right? They did good work, but... Yeah. 
Uh, so that mind game actually paid off, but besides that, um, some weird choices. Uh, it is tricky. Obviously, matchup that we don't see too often. Japanese against Indians. Japanese mo mainly played on more like water maps and Indians most of the time banned. And we saw why. Yeah, I mean, if you were given the choice Japanese against Indians on most land maps, you're going to pick Japanese most of the time. But on this map, Indians is an obvious better choice. But then again, if the game goes in parallel age like it did, uh, if Lan is in a little bit of a better spot hitting Imperial Age there, then I think Japanese should be the clear favorite. Hmm. Yeah, thanks as well. Okay. Time that we are moving. Oops. What do I do here? Chrome help? How can I help you? You can't. Fuck off. Okay. Ah, how well on time are you with the donation goal? Well, as you saw, we are roughly at close to 6k. So getting close What's to... What's expect here, Nelly? percent Or do you want to like ah. go through the first mi minutes without talking about the game? Um, well, we can talk about it, especially if we are two. That, that makes sense. I'm expecting okay. Chinese and Vikings. I think... Yeah, I'm expecting Chinese and Incas, although Incas is banned. Incas? So, well, so this okay. is very interesting that land went Incas when they are banned. Oh, yeah. So, That's drama, really interesting. boys. Um, drama incoming. Man, I love this tournament, man. Oh, God. So much drama. <laughs> mm. Oh, God. Uh, did you ban Incas? I think he, did, he banned Incas, right? Yeah. He did. Okay. Well, great stuff. <laughs> what is oh, this man. joke? Man, it's, I don't know how how that is possible. Okay. Man. Yes. And man been asking me, nearly it's real. Yes. Yep. Okay, well at least we know how we handle the situation. So, so how that do makes we it easy. It? We handle that. Miguel will stay with Chinese and he can pick any of the civilizations that are allowed for LAN. Okay. Of the leftover four. Yep. That makes a lot of sense. Man, how... <laughs> how well, dumb the, are the, people, the, man? LAN is saying, okay, 2-0, no problem. Miguel is saying, no. <laughs> Sub to help band NAC3. Man. Uh. This is, this is just... Okay, let me up myself. Well, I can't up myself, right? Uh, not while the people are still spectating now. The band Incas, fuck's sake. Just pick it if it's fuck. okay. What? Well, Lan wants to give admin win for game two. Miguel wants him to... Well, he can't give admin game. win. He is not an admin. Well, he's trying. <laughs> <laughs> now you can help yourself. Okay. Go on, Hilly. Show them who's the boss, man. Okay. Miguel doesn't want cheap wins like that. Not yeah, that well, then guy. he can give him a good sieve. So, Miguel will stay with Chinese and can decide the sieve for land of the remaining four sieves. Vike, Hans, Monk, Etel. Well, let me try to predict plan. Well, Italians is obviously Mediterranean. Uh, Vikings probably for Arabia. Hans for Eldorado? No, I don't know, man. I, I really I think Land did a really bad draft, honestly. Yeah, I don't I don't see Vikings ever being good, honestly. Well they are they can be good for like Arabia, I think. Yeah, but you have Hans as well. Yeah. Well, if you have to pick Vikings anywhere, it would be Arabia, right? On these maps. Uh well, probably. 
Oh, well, Mongols. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So. Well, there is no boars and four deer, right? On El Dorado? Yeah. Mm. No, there's a boar. I'm pretty sure there's one boar, right? Okay. Why am I wrong here? No, I think there's one boar at least. Did Lan do the Stark? Yes, he did. <laughs> and the man, ACCM. Man. No, and the back T. And the back T. Dude, every series there's something like this, man. Well, three Maybe out they... of 20. But Maybe yeah. the admin wrote really bad rules or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Since they don't get it. Man. Yeah. And like the series that I didn't cast, I watched a VOD out of a player and they just played the whole series with SQ as well. <laughs> so I just saw that. Oh. I know Lan had single queue against uh, Taro as well in ECL. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. That's why they had to rest yeah. off. Freaking heresy and, clubs, man. Yeah, and then they, he produced like... I didn't even watch the uh, hideout, but apparently he built like knights in Imp as well because he messed up his hotkeys. Because Ooh. he tried to play with MQ. Aye, aye, aye. Ah. Uh, <laughs> rip. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go get something quickly. I'll be right back. I play as Brain AFK, something like that, yeah. They uh, seriously aren't doing it. Well, three times it's a sham. If if it won't happen anymore in the whole tournament, I'm fine with it. Three times is fine, spread over like 70 games. But trust me, it might happen in this qualifier and it will for sure happen in NSC2 qualifier number two as well. Yeah. Yeah. 2k plus Rubly rating equals 50 IQ. Yeah. Luckily, I have 100 points higher in Rubly rating, so I have 100 higher IQ as well, right? Something like that. Uh, but yeah, it is shocking how, how weird they are playing. So we will have Eldorado. And now we will have Mongols band and Chinese band. <laughs> oh, la uh, but it's only 1 0. So no 2 0 instantly for Lan. Lan picked Incas, which was banned before. And, well, we can jump into game number. Oh, we cannot. Game drop for me. And game drop for quite a lot of people. Trying to grab the wreck. I'm back. Okay, Hello. game drop for me. Hello. Oh, the game dropped. Oh no, 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 no! It only the game dropped for me, but I'm, now I'm in it as well. Yeah. Yeah, there's so, one boar here. Okay. One so boar one boar on and like four deer, right? Okay, so Mongols aren't yes. that bad. No, Mongols are okay. Um. Race to dust. I guess Thanks. I just wanted to avoid Mongols for Arabia, Acropolis. So I, I think it makes sense. Uh, but the sheep in the middle, they are, are they Lance or Miguel's sheep? I think they're Lance, right? Two, I four. So, yeah, they're Lance. Okay. They're far away. Yeah, they're really far, super far. Like It's like they're almost closer to Miguel. Yeah. Yeah, they're slightly closer to land, but super close. So sick. What do you think about the idea of giving everyone a TC to start with? A villager to start? A sheep to start <laughs> with? Oh, God. Everyone should have a TC, man. <laughs> well, wh what are you having against Nomad? No, but um, in like TC starts to have a sheep under the TC so that you get rid of the variance of not finding your four starting sheep. Well, I've always been in favor of fixing the sheep. Oh, Miguel found the sheep from land now. Really good for him. Really good for him. Um, I've always spoken about. I've complained very loudly on my stream when I played Ooh. games and not found my sheep. That mm -hmm. that's such a silly RNG uh, aspect of the game. Like being behind someone just because your sheep spawned awkwardly. It's just such mm -hmm. an annoying uh, RNG aspect of the game. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree as well. And ECL even did. 
a poll for that, right? I wondered how I a know. lot of people had to. Yeah, I think so. I, I voted for have, I believe I voted for two sheep or something spawning in the TC. Okay. So Incas would have two sheep, three sheep spawning under the TC. Though. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Cheating, man. Yeah. Oh, Miguel's running under the TC. Ah, uh, he got out fast though, so it's okay. Okay, going for <laughs> the shawfish. Sorry. <laughs> you bastard, man. <laughs> I was just messaging Viper on his phone that he should turn off his sound for his mobile. Apologies. <laughs> right, all right. Initial map sheep spawn with line of sight? No, no, they don't. They definitely don't. Trust us, we are all ECL players here. Most of us. Have you played ECL yet? No. <laughs> We're all ECL <laughs> players here. Uh, you did enough games for the two of us. Oh, okay. Fair enough. How happy are you with the performance? Oh, I didn't even see. Did Slam advance the second stage? Uh, second stage? Slam beat Riot, but he lost yeah. to back team. Ah, okay. Sick. Yeah, oh, I haven't watched the games against the back though, but from what I heard, okay. we lost due to strategy pretty much, so I don't know. Okay. But uh, beating Riot was really good regardless, so... Yeah, I, that... I really feared for him after game number one. Yeah, he, he got a, he got us as many puntos as doubt, so can't complain. Okay. I really, I really, really wished he would got one more further round, just so he could trash talk doubt, because doubt's been giving <laughs> him a hard time. <laughs> okay. How well will Bek T do against Fire? Mm, in NAC qualifiers? Yes. Um, I don't know. I think Bek T's style is good against Fire, Slam, in general. Okay. Mm, so he might have a good chance, but Fire is playing well lately. I've seen Fire perform really well in the qualifiers so far. Yeah. Lan has really poor scouting here. Look where he's making his barracks, and he's gonna make his stable up there as well. I mean, it's not a big deal, but he has no idea where Miguel is at the moment. Oh yeah, that's true. Hitcher out wins the scout war at least. Indeed. So. And what do you think about people getting sheep and berries before even finishing their fish? Um, I don't. There's know. only one right I, answer. I, uh, multi sheep. Uh, I um, I always think whatever the fastest food source is, take it. Boost your early game and then take the other resources after. So, I think they should focus more on their fishes. Yeah, especially like ACCM against Doubt looked so weird. He went yeah, down like one villager on shawfish and like six on sheep still. Oh god, was so inefficient. And well, it was still very, very close of winning that game. Oh, well, Lan has found the the hunters for Miguel. He's sending a spare there though, so it should be fine. Is it just me or does this map seem big? I haven't had to check because I thought it maybe was four player, but it seems super big to me. Just, it just probably well. isn't, but it just feels like it's very big. Yeah, true. Yeah. I can That's understand why. Oh, <laughs> did you ever hear that? Of course. I don't know. Of course. Okay. <laughs> I wish, man. Oh, everyone All right. Does. So, um, I like Lance's uh, walls. He has back golden stone, so he's like super fine. Uh, I really like the way he's walling up his map. But I'm curious about the transitions here. What do you do? You think any of them will uh, move into archer ranges or? Both I, I think a lot of feudal age aggression is super good on this map. If you pressure like wood is never like super safe of the enemy, it's really tough to be extremely walled. I think Lan, I th he should add an archery range. I would love to see it. Miguel, I think he needs to play reactively here. Yeah, I think I mean Lance, he can so easily wall up the rest of his base, like just wall to the wood lines from the barracks and the house, and his his base is completely walled. 
And after and that, I would really like to see him play full fuel age just to pile on the pressure. Yeah. You can well, palisade wall state. on the sand area around the TC as well. Yeah, but like he doesn't have to. He can just wall straight to the forest, right? And it's super fine anyway. He did kill two spears throughout the forward deer of Miguel, so he's gonna pick uh, off a villager there and return some damage. But he did lose one villager, I think, at his own base. He does have five to one KD at the moment. Well, That's tough, two spears, but... one villager, one scout. And what's the other unit? Well, one more scout, uh, yeah. The starting scout, yeah. Yeah. But oh, he has two like scouts. two super dead scouts as well. Yeah. So cannot really take an even engagement here, military count. The same at the moment. Then adds a second mill, Miguel. He stays on one mill and needs to walk quite far. I still don't understand, like, Lan, like, why not wall the rest of your base? You've come so far. But why <laughs> not wall the rest? Yeah, maybe he doesn't know. In the end, he it can doesn't wall matter. Area because he's exactly walling to the sandy area. Yeah. That's the issue, like, it doesn't matter then. In the end, if he doesn't Goes finish the now. wall. That looks like towers in the center. Indeed. Which I count Miguel only two ahead. That's a lot of spearmen from Miguel. I don't really see Lan doing any damage. And remember guys, everyone can see the center at all times. So for Miguel, he will see those villagers and the towers. Let's take a look. 12 to 11 military at the moment. Lan, he gets away and he gets to the center. It still triggers me so much that it doesn't finish the wall. Why leave it open, man? <laughs> okay, what, what triggers you more? Mode? Those walls or having the market one tile away from the edge of the map? Mm, oh, that's a tough one, man. Probably the market thing. Okay. The market thing is like such a silly thing. Like, why leave a gap? <laughs> that's even more annoying. <laughs> man. Why leave it open, man? <laughs> why not just... I think he doesn't know. I think he simply but he doesn't know. can wall know. to the forest and the grass. Wants to save the resources. Third mill now. But he's controlling the center. Let's take a look. Miguel, he's switching on to gold now as well. Miguel? Miguel's farming is looking better at the moment. Uh, so I think his food income is going to spike faster. Um, we, have, but, we have Miguel yeah. with 18 farmers and Lan on the other side with only 12, now adding number 13 on 14. But then again, Lan does have the middle right at the moment, so it'll be interesting to see how how this carries on. <laughs> Miguel even adds more scouts, although he has a big scout advantage. That's kind of interesting. I think he will jump through the TC. And Lan, well, he only has two spearmen. Why not? <laughs> okay, no. let's take a look. That... This is so stupid. Sorry, man, but it's just... Why? Why? You're a caster. Be Why? respectful. I yeah, can't respect those scouts this, man. Will... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... This is good. so... Like, this should never have been an issue for him. What is happening right now. Yeah. This should never have... Okay, now even eh? bloodlines. He might win that fight against the three spearmen here as well. He has a and lot armor. of low HP. He has a lot of low HP scouts there as well, though. But armor isn't too important against spearmen, right? There's still three hits. Yeah, but it looks cool. Okay. And he can run under the TC that has no villagers or walls anyway, so. And the one for one trade and he goes for the high hp scout here more spearmen are coming over he sends his own scouts back all the scouts very low hp here and i think miguel in the end he will only kill a single yeah, villager okay viper muting himself here so we'll go for a bit of solo Dali, cast back. i think Someone came in his room. Yeah. Yeah, top law, man. Top law. Wow. Okay, I think okay. we land dealt okay with this, but still it looks so much unnecessary damage. 
Miguel goes three stables what? full plus one plus one bloodline scouts and land is up to castle age. Yeah, because he's he's open. Why not? <laughs> Len, why, how many spearmen does he have at all? <laughs> oh no, he's behind it! <laughs> he Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is, this is so beautiful. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, well at least he's modeling it. <laughs> this is so good. Oh my. He can wall okay. on the sand. <laughs> You can wall to the forest even if he doesn't wall on the, want to wall on the sand. Oh, okay, he is eight villagers behind at the moment, but more will go down for sure. Three spearmen Way trying more to will go down. do something. If he gets two, three camels out, he can obviously deal with it pretty well. But more scouts are rushing out as well. His production keeps running, and well, now only one spear military count at the moment, seventeen to three. Um, what's your relationship with with uh, Lan? I mean, you're in the same team now. Do you talk or uh, not yet? But Are I think in the future we might. I will obviously make fun of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that okay. The clan yeah. check doesn't matter to me at all. Okay, okay. But I'm like, just like, like this it... deserves to be made yeah. fun of. If this was yeah. doubt, man. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> the dream. Yeah. Uh, okay, twenty nine villagers now. Complete disaster, man. <laughs> It's more villagers even, and now Miguel is up. Yeah. 27 villagers. He just lost another 10 villagers against that. Really, raid. really well done by Miguel, to be fair. But still, it's like True. unforgivable error by Lan. Yeah. Great map preparation. Oh, castle in the middle by Lan. I mean, like, the only way he can, he can win this is full middle control, right? But he's. He has. <laughs> 21, 20 bills less than, than Miguel. No. Like, yeah. Miguel has a lot of scouts still. 13 scouts. And, and he's producing not, more. And Lan is not walled yet. <laughs> Will he close it in time? Uh, we'll see. I don't think he should, so, right? He should. Yeah. He should. He should. He should. Ooh. Okay, villager, 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 villager. Opening the. Oh, 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 open, the open the door, man. Oh. Okay. Oh. He should just take the TC. He could. The scouts. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, could. Okay, Mangodai camel aggression in the center now, though. Against Miguel. He will have I mean, a solid. Timing window of 30 seconds. There, oh, oh there right in the center. Oh. And those villagers have a long way to get over to the other safe side. He's losing more wheels. I mean, as long as these... He can keep mill control, he still has a chance. But... He's pretty far behind. <laughs> still. Uh -huh. I mean, Miguel is super open though. Like, he hasn't walled either. and So he's exposed, so there's... There's areas of weakness for, for Miguel, for sure. Miguel, he only has 450 more gold to collect. And I think, like, Camel Mangodai against someone who's super open, maybe he can snag some villagers as well. Yeah, and it seems like Miguel will go all in for taking the middle. But Miguel's, ah, Miguel's going to lose a lot of hills now on the top side. Mangodai, Camel, and Knight are in. I'm going to kill at least five, six hills here. Uh, will he really? Well, he should because the Vils are just sitting there carrying their goals, but then he doesn't kill anyone, so. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, oh man. I oh, saw man. it coming. Oh fuck. Oh god. <clears throat> okay, he gets out with most of the Mangrai, I guess. A little, little, little bit of that. Oh no, don't tell me he's losing that one in the back. Oh yeah, yeah. Man. Doesn't have Botkin. Can't really afford it because he doesn't have too many villagers. Oh, why is that? Miguel, I don't know. Miguel is sticking with the full light cap. He's not making any knights, moment or camels. Honestly, if he makes five ramps, he just makes knights. Uh, he does have enough stone for a cast himself. 
So he's gonna prepare a big push now for the middle. He's probably gonna send rams, like Kevin, drop the castle on top of the castle of land. That's only round one ram though. If he had like yeah. five rams, I could see that plan working out. I think he will just build a castle more to the right hand side, but then still will be blocked. Yeah, he's doing a mangonel now instead of another ram, so I guess yeah, he's going for a safer castle drop. He doesn't want to take the big risk. That would have placed his castle probably where this. Where did, yeah, in his face. Yeah, that's that's a solid doubt spot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is bad. Miguel is not protecting his villagers here. It's not the best for him. Bloodlines coming from Lam. He doesn't want to get caught out though. And he gets caught out. Oh. And Lan is not having oh, the God. best of luck with the way he's moving and maneuvering his units here. Uh, military count 27 to 7. Castle is still doing quite some damage, but well, even if Miguel loses 15 light calf, that's yeah. not the end of the world for him. I'm not sure why Miguel didn't just add more ramps here instead. He could really have just broken the castle. I think so as well. This is not the greatest trade for Miguel, though. Yeah, he's just trying to buy himself time. Yeah, but the castle will go up anyway now. Yeah. Back to raiding. <laughs> Score is surprisingly close. Well, 800 points. <laughs> I wouldn't say close. Surprisingly close. Thought it was more in the like double of the points direction. Yeah, well, the village account is, uh, difference is 10. only at 10 now. Yeah, and the Mangada are in now. Um, he's doing scale barding armor, I'm not sure why. But the thing here for Miguel is he got he got what he needed. He got safe resource collection in the middle. And that's pretty much what he was aiming for. Is it that safe? I think Land can get a tower up and block everything, can, right? But for now. Oh, unless those villagers wants to run back in through the castle of Lan yeah, to equalize yeah. the village account. Seems like oh, his oh, Christmas only fair. Christmas came <laughs> early, man. Oh. Merry Christmas. All right. Village difference of five. Oh, he's oh, in. Oh, he's in oh, the oh, light Oh man. Ay, ay, ay. Man, it's Christmas all over the place, man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he does have some camels though, but not enough. They might even lose, right? Four camels against 15 light calf. It's not really going to work out. No, it's not. And that's <laughs> that's most of his economy. He's doing a panic TC in the top. Um, Manga, <laughs> look at Miguel's. Look how exposed Miguel's eco is. If those Manga run in. Look he at that, man. He can do something. He can do something. He can do a lot. He could man, be ahead of villagers gonna... pretty soon. <laughs> man, it's this game, man. We'll just need to jump into the DCC at the top. Not all can honestly, fit. Well, honestly, I would have maybe even sacrificed those. No, uh, well, he doesn't know what we see. He doesn't see what we see, so it makes sense. The light cat under the TC are dying. Man, Lan is... Well, he's six bills behind still, but... <laughs> I don't think any of them are gonna... Well, actually, look at Miguel's he... resources. He could go Imperial Asia, honestly. What? Well, he does not have any villagers on gold at the moment, right? Okay, three on gold. Yeah, like if he, if he has a market, right? No, he doesn't have a market. If he makes a market, he could sell wood and go up to Imperial Age. Uh, but then that means he needs to stop night production, which I don't think he can afford, honestly, because the Mangada will just pick him apart then. Pretty strong 42 villager imp as well. Yeah, but it's just to get the trebs out to take the castle, right? Yeah. But Lan has no farms now. He has no food income at all. All his farms are idle, except one. <laughs> yeah, this game, like honestly, I think I would prefer Lan's position here with the Mangada because he have the potential to micro, and the the yeah. bigger that group of Mangada gets, yeah, the more devastating they're gonna get. Well, Lan will for sure have the more enjoyable game from here. Not sure yep. if it's he is in the better position, but it's um... more fun to play with those Mangada. Look what Miguel is preparing a big ramp push, and honestly. With the amount of Mangodai Miguel has, it shouldn't work. Unless he uses units the way he has used them the whole game. <laughs> so... <laughs> it should be fine. More knights going down at the front. Remember, the Mangodais don't have a lot of upgrades, right? I would be surprised if he has husbandry, no ballistics, obviously. 
So, yeah. oh, and no. Ay, 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 ay. This is what I'm talking oh, about. Man. Oh, God. This is what I'm talking about, man. Oh. It was four dead mango dies or something. Now the ram should now, probably go oh, for the attack. Miguel yeah. wants to jump on it. I still think if Miguel jumps behind the castle walls in that back spot, so his mango can just sit in the back without being touched, he would have been fine. Uh, but he. Twitter is trying to get uh, something rolling for yeah. himself. Like, if he walls those mango in, there's no way that castle goes down. This is gonna be a very then good trade. No more for... villagers. All the villagers died. Yep. Uh... Mangodai count yeah, down Mangodai to six. Only... Yeah, yeah. This castle should be a goner. And after that castle goes down, Lan will call it, man. Oh. I'm already gonna put the 2 0 for. There's a GG. Man, honestly, this was a throw mm. of a. Uh, there was a... <laughs> a lot of throwing going back and forth here. Oh, yeah. Like a minute ago, you said you liked the position of Lan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, and I said, teams. unless he uses his units the way he has used them the whole game. And then he did that. So my statement <laughs> still stands. Yeah. Well, oh, those walls, they were just genius. <laughs> By Lan. Man, oh. <laughs> this game should have been Lance, honestly. Just... <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. I don't have words. I don't have words. And even the last engagement, if he keeps one villager alive, two stone walls, yeah, and he can so kill no, all the rams. Yeah, no, if the Mangodas can't be touched, there's no way that castle goes down. Oh, man. Disaster, man. Full disaster. Next game is uh, Acropolis. No, Arabia, right? Okay, Arabia, yeah. Arabia. Mm hmm. So I guess probably Malians against Huns for Arabia or Vikings. Malians mm, against Vikings I probably. Think, mm, I think Celts against Huns. You, you don't think Celts he wants Celts Vikings. for Mediterranean? I think he wants Malians for the Mediterranean and Celts for Arabia. Could be, could be. I would personally prefer Celts for Mediterranean though. And Miguel likes Celts on Arabia. Okay. Well, it could be, could be. But I think Huns, no, Vikings is, has to be Lance's choice, right? Huns for Acropolis and then Mediterranean for Italians. Yeah. Uh, Vikings are just so bad on Acropolis and Medi. Yeah. Well, they're not that bad it. on Acropolis, but. I think for Without Scouts? You don't want them. Yeah, the Scouts is a must for Acropolis. Like, Men at Arms into a tower on the wood lines and stuff. It's a really good. Uh, Good way to play Mediterranean. No, Acropolis. <laughs> okay. I didn't think the subs earlier. 29 Rogan, 29. And Kinsey Lol. Thank you so much, guys. And Ryder. I'm trying to. Thank you so much for all your support um, during this night. And I think I will take a quick bathroom break. We'll get some sugar water for myself. And then we can jump into game number three. Viper 2. Go over to his channel. Give him some love as well. And we will be back in one and a half minutes exactly with the Arabia game number three.
So apparently some hotkey problems for LAN, but they continue playing. Check Discord, says Elfish. Let's take a look there. Oh, Nilly Pog. Should we do it with a hippo? You really like... <laughs> you took my picture there. <laughs> okay, we can add that one. You're right, Nilly. Uh, I think it should be a hippo. For Arabia. The weirdo. That's why, that's why you are the hype caster. And exactly. I'm the pro caster. Pro. Exactly. Yeah. And Lan even went hunts. So he's saving Vikings. Maybe he wants to use Vikings for Mediterranean Italians for Acropolis. <sighs> Don't think Lan so. Seems like a weird player, man. <laughs> The, we same. can agree on that, yeah. 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 I don't know how to predict his moves. From what I learned from him now, 80% of all his Age of Empires games aren't made sober from him. So mm. he, he's drinking a lot and heavily from what I learned in the last three weeks. Yeah. Oh, is that for real? Yeah, for real. Really? Okay. <laughs> how, how old is he? I don't know. Uh, oh no, boy. I don't know. Heresy zero, alcohol one. <laughs> yeah, and his, his tournament preparation isn't the greatest either. I, I tried to train with him um, for the games against Tado for ECL, and mm -hmm. he had zero ideas about civilizations. <clears throat> oh, we did yeah. some practice games, and he never thought about pl uh, playing Persians there. And then I tried to send him records how I wanted him to play, and yeah. Uh, didn't work out surprisingly. <laughs> Persons on hideout? Yeah. No, no, not on hideout. On dry river. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think Persians are the best there anyway. So why would you advise him that, Nilly? I think they're the best. What? 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 Yeah, I did some testing against Hans, and they roughly get 150 more resources when both clicking up feudal. But that's or not the later one clicks all up you feudal. need to look at. The smoothness oh. of everything, man. Well, optimization there. I think if you play a perfect good. game, maybe you can make an argument for it, but... Yeah, but that's what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> argument so stops he, here. If he's okay. drunk okay. 80% no. of the time, man, you can't rely on a perfect, <laughs> game. Like a perfect oh. game, man. Uh, Miguel Boer, no, Lan only shot once. He did a sheep as well to try and help. So this is... And there's another sheep as well. Let's oh man, this is hot. He, oh, he helped okay. him. Are you gonna give him the sheep? Well, he's yeah, not man. taking them. No, okay. That was weird. That should really have been. I mean, that should have killed the hill there. Yeah, well, he was a bit late there. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, and I see is, what. Okay. Right. One guy in my chat says if he's drunk, it makes sense that he picked the wrong save earlier. So it adds up. Yeah. So he's drunk, Miguel is playing with a hangover, and NSC2 yeah. is as serious as it ever gets. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Very, very, very doubt is, when when <laughs> doubt a tournament ever happened, that Doubt is the only one taking it seriously. <laughs> the first time ever, man. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, yeah, well, yeah. well, well, um, Clash of the Hippo, he took it seriously. And Did he? Killer, Killer Beast Apartment Cup. And it's Killer Beast Apartment, Killer Beast Arabia <laughs> Cup. Yeah, I guess. Could be his apartment cup by A. Yeah. Okay, that's Drush by Miguel here. Seems that way. Milan is going up. 21 pop. Prob probably Scout. He seems like he... Actually, I'm not going to try to predict what he's doing. He's not eating his boar. I mean, he has one food, but he apparently left it earlier. He was sitting next to the TC, Miguel, with the Scout. And he didn't jump inside friendly game <laughs> what do you think of the map of land by the way we didn't really address that only one lumber camp for now horrible gold isn't that a restart map well not if you're drunk <laughs> um, but i mean the woodlands are fine i wouldn't mind playing this because they're woodlands and he can wall down to the forest below like to with the oasis all the way at the bottom he could wall from there mm -hmm. and straight up and kind of secure the back of his base, but now he's like just preparing his base against a uh, drush, which is fine as well. Seems like he's gonna play scouts. Okay. Um, Miguel cancelled the third militia, clicked up to feudal age, and now queued him up again. So will be fake drush into men at arms. Never seen that Miguel's, before. Miguel's map isn't 
great either though. Four wood, four berries, four stones, double stone forward. And he's only got one lumber camp as well with only five bills, which is fine though when you're going man at arms for the time being, but Lana's is going range. <laughs> and people call me fantasy player, guys. <laughs> Look at this. And now he's sending three villagers aggressively. He, he thinks this is Trash FC. Man. I mean, I like it because he sees both stones. It makes sense. If he controls them, he can put a lot of pressure with towers. And the woodland but and berries are all weird. in front there. Yeah. I mean, all things considered, given the fact that Miguel's Josh is still forward, I like it. Yeah, and Miguel even adding two spearmen to counter the scouts of land. Ooh. That won't come. The, the villagers were our envision for him, so he knows the tower is coming up. He's sending Vils to fight. Where's the gate? Put the gate! Put the gate, man! Where's the gate? No, no, no. Oh, masterpiece, man. He wasted his scout as well against the spearman. This is. Miguel can fight this off, right? Yeah, the tower should go up, though, and with the units. Men at arms are coming. Drush. Yeah, men at arms, indeed, yeah. Looking very good for Miguel now. To just completely shut down this pressure right away. Especially with the men at arms coming in. Yeah, they're coming over quite quickly as well, being the Celts. Indeed. But it just could be stuck there as well for Ooh. land. That's a good thing that they're behind. You can repair it for a while and. But why is he sending his units back? Dude! Dude! Yeah, he could have detected the left hand side. There's no no man there's like every man left behind. <laughs> man, what is this? Oh wall them in, wall them in, wall them in, wall them in. Yes. Yes. Oh okay. counter tower, Miguel. Wall them in. Shouldn't he Miguel, just build Miguel, wall them in. Yeah, he should just wall himself, right? Yeah, one palisade and his stuff. That tower makes no sense. If a single villager well, makes it out, that's a huge fail of Miguel. I like this tower, but you should wall them in. Yeah, now this is a disaster. Complete oh, disaster, so man. <laughs> well, one village down. Oh, he should get all wheels still. Yeah, he will get all wheels still. That's fine. Yeah, but, but why still? You can get all wheels without a tower. Yeah. Well, I like the, the tower because it secures the stone, and then he goes for the forward stone. Well, whatever. <laughs> 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 whatever, man. I... Don't think that Lan should have added an archer early on as well? He can't get fletching mm. for quite some time. And don't fight like this, man. Not like this, man. Not like this, man. Man, you need to practice unit management with landman. I, I wouldn't know to do it better. What? What? He's like the doubt of heresy, man. Oh, don't you think Eddie is the doubt of heresy? No, no, no. Okay. Oh well, very strange. Um, blacksmith, double range from Miguel. Second lumber camp, he's walled off the bottom of part of his base. Miguel is looking real good here. Village accounts are similar though, but I do really like the way Miguel is looking. Double archer range, indeed. No blacksmith from either player so far. And Lan, yeah, only one lumber camp. That's just so inefficient. Much faster. Blacksmith as well from Miguel and yeah. Oh, and he this even saved that wolf, uh, saved that uh, man at arm that got attacked by the wolf with like four HP left or something, got into the tower. Not <laughs> running there. Indeed. Flashing incoming. It's gonna sneak those archers forward and then use the skirms and man arms to defend, which is a really nice choice by Miguel. Those archers, if they sneak around to the gold, the hail, the woodland, then they can get some real damage done. This is looking very much like a clean sweep 3-0, Mr. Nelly. Well, game number two, wrong tiff choice. <laughs> Obviously <laughs> helps out quite a bit there. Well, he was in a great spot in game two, to be fair, with Mongols. Yeah, yeah, just just one wall away from winning the game. <laughs> oh, man. Archers not really getting the damage done in Thaos. Lan now getting fletching as well. He should win uh, he's any way out of real position, fight, though. but yeah. Indeed, why is Miguel's he trying to go through the center from, there? Yeah, Miguel is coming in from both sides. 
Lan is doing a weird second lumber camp. Oh, and he's wait, able to on the wood, man. Yes, and at the same time, the archers should go in on the gold. And, yep, it's looking, looking rough. There will be 25 either villagers soon. Oh, God. Indeed. Oh, he notices the archers on the gold, though, very fast, so that's good for him. Sending all his army back. But if he cleans this up, he's still in a decent spot. He does have a lot of food in his bank, so he's, like, almost ready to click Castle Oh, yeah. Oh, why is he sending his villagers back? What? Oh. What? Now he does the gate. When did he learn that? <laughs> well, sometimes you learn something in the game. Yeah. Like he didn't know it seven minutes ago. Yeah. Crazy stuff. And this is a weird fight between all the villagers. Oh, whatever. Lance food is looking great. So he's like, like, if you look at Miguel's base, he has five idols, only like six, seven farms. So economy-wise, Lance is actually looking quite good. Score-wise, he's looking really bad. But economy-wise... He's looking like he's ready to the cast later soon. Yeah. Deal with the one range play. Miguel. Well, maybe mass, skirm, and archers. I think it would be tricky for Lan to break him if he wants to go for something like CA. But if he just goes full knights, could maybe make something happen. Yeah, I mean, like if you if you ignore the score and just look purely at numbers and the actual situation in the game. Kind of like Lance's position, honestly. <laughs> He's gonna click up to Castlage now. He has good wood income now. He needs more more wheels to gold, but then he can like go full cavalry, three range cavalry. Uh, I mean, Miguel's base is still looking very nice though. So, is cavalry the better choice than knights? Ooh, Miguel is adding a stable. He's gonna go scouts. Uh, I always think cavalry in most scenarios is a better choice. I'm not sure here. I would. I still. I think knights wouldn't kill him here. Like he wouldn't kill La uh, Miguel or give him a big enough advantage. Okay. But I think cavalchers just to build numbers. So you start with cavalchers and then, as the game goes on, suddenly you have thirty cavalchers, and that's a snowball number. So I okay. would think so. Yeah. But right now he's still stuck on one range. He made a second mining camp. Moved more villages to gold. I now I don't see. trying to rush to the hill, close now to the gold of land. Yeah. It's like Miguel might be the first there. There's a scout coming over though from Miguel. So with this, he might be able to apply some real pressure. Land seems to be going for knights though. Ooh, good first in engage for land. But now he sees the scout and it's dangerous. Very good micro by Miguel. Debating all the arrows with the archers. Yeah, very good by Miguel. Yeah, not a single lost unit for him and killed yeah. four skirmishes there. All the villagers need to be pulled. Second stable is getting rushed up. And no He's gonna stone. Clean this. Yeah, he will clean this feudal age pressure, right? But taking so much damage here, so much idle time. No walls. Oh, there's a gate again. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think it did bloodlines either, right? So those knights aren't even too strong. Yeah. That's not. Well, depends. He's not getting plus two defense as well. Scans yeah, look around. at Miguel's. Yeah. Miguel can pick up any second though. Yeah, and his base is super safe with towers everywhere. That's looking very, very promising for Miguel again. Trying to split away here. He has four knights now. Lan goes up to five and then probably wants to engage. But that's so many idle villagers here as well. Goes for the wood line like a mile mm -hmm. away and now takes the engagement should have the good clear up here yeah he'll probably lose two knights but still it's gonna clean the whole thing so oh actually i've microed away the low hp knight let's see if it does the same with the other one mm. yes it does but like this, my boy you might, let, but you might let him escape like this no i should still clean it all up Let's take a look. Yeah, yeah, good, good micro by Lan here. Oh, he's sending in a weak one again, though. Oh, that's uh, unnecessary. Oh, will he save it? He lives. He lives. Oh. Good save by, Miguel, uh, by Lan there. Uh, let's take a look. Made another lumber camp at the top. That's weird. Uh, so he's probably going for a monastery now, which won't help him too much. And Miguel, he added a second stable, a third stable. He will go mess. Killed knights, yeah. 
Yeah, but it's weird because he only has seven bills on gold and he's going cross. Like a lot of archers, he can't sustain this production with only seven bills on gold. Very strange. Yeah. And it's like not your typical Celt army as well. Can never go on bloodlines, not really using any of his wood advantages to full potential. Now goes on to crossbow, crossbowman and botkin arrow though. Botkin arrow for land. Land sent in three knights on the top to the towers. And look at their HP. Mm -hmm. One of them has one HP. 13 and 23. He was quick reacting though, so he saved them all. They could have died really fast, all of them. Now land switching into CA. I think Elite Skirms could have been the better choice here. And that woodland yeah. is so exposed. Oh, no. no plus two attack either, so... Don't see... He sees the villagers as well, Miguel does. He's going to chase them down to the deaths. Oh, he splits up his army though. That actually might give uh, Lan an uh, opportunity to clean up the army. But Lan keeps running. Yeah, this is looking like the point of no return, honestly, for, for Lan. Miguel's economy... I mean, their village accounts are similar, but Miguel's economy is untouched. No idle time. Okay, clears <laughs> up some of the knights here. And crossbows now combining... Forces again, going for the gold, and land needs to pull villagers again, and doesn't even want to see all of those villagers die. GG's out. 3-0, clean sweep for Miguel. John Jay, thanks for the Good sub. Job. Good job. Weird games, man. Weird. Yeah, agree to that. And I just feel like this map for land, I, I would not have liked to play this. And I think the, with this open gold, you need to have a defensive tower or some walls or play even more aggressively but this like going to somewhat fast castle age with minimal army on this open map doesn't really work out yeah i mean he used his stone forward as well so he couldn't make a tower on his gold mm. yeah it was just again a chain of odd decisions land seems to be a unique player when it comes to like choices so he seems like a very unpredictable player <laughs> That can be both good and bad in many ways. So, I mean, I haven't played too much with him myself, but that's the idea I'm getting here. By watching these games remember, at least. Yeah, I remember your uh, goth against Spanish game as well, where he walled up yeah. and went CA with Spanish. Yeah, sneaky CA. Sneaky CA. <laughs> Strange. So Miguel advances and will play the loser of fire against back T. Oh, updated brackets already. Super smooth. Super smooth. Big. Stark against Stout will probably start scheduling tomorrow or something. Fire against back T is going to happen Wednesday for GMT. Good luck, man. Will you stay up or will you wake up early to cast the series? <laughs> um, I don't think I'll do anything like that. <laughs> I think you, okay. however, have... Well, what will you do? I don't I know, know you're yet. Gonna be there. Yeah, I have to. Uh, I don't know yet. I think we'll, I will see how the next days go. Maybe I'll try to force myself to stay up to like 6 a.m. today, 7 a.m. tomorrow, and then we'll just try to yeah, stay awake. Okay. Are you going to try to stay awake the whole day then or f go sleep after the series? Well, probably go sleep after the series. Yeah. Okay. And then wake yeah. up 4 or 5 p.m. or try to get Something up Something like that, yeah. Yeah, mm, or maybe like great. only sleep like four hours so that I'm so exhausted that I go to bed like 1 a.m. in the evening again. Yeah. But not sure if that works out. <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah. Well, well, well. Exciting, exciting stuff. What you don't do to be a pro admin. Well, yeah, yeah. some people you have to babysit, right? Apparently, <laughs> like, they got really mad at each other there. 
Yeah, I watched uh, Miguel's VOD just to see what happened there. Okay. And Fire was just laughing a lot. And Bacti took offense to that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He, he takes him a bit as a kid, right? Back mm -hmm. from the old days from Tyrant Warlords, where he teached him a lot of English and tried to tell him like strategies and what to do in what spots. I think he doesn't like see him on the same level. I don't know. Ich weiß nicht, nearly. Oh. But I think I won't have the problems because someone will screw up the time zone changes and won't show up in time. You think <laughs> so? Well, no, most likely not. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think so either. Well, 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 I'm gonna call it. It's late. What's a short stream for you, right? Not even four hours? Oh, four hours and 42 minutes right now. Oh, so, so you started... Oh, you started 18 GMT, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, made sense. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see a game for myself as well, so uh, I will call it as well. You don't see game 57? That's for you, man. Oh boy, I think I'm scared against Terra. Game 50, man. Fire is hosting. 18 plus. You can do it, man. And give him some wins. I think I, think I will screw something against Terra. What? I think I will try something against Terra. Okay. Well, good luck, man. Cheers, have a great night. It is, good night. Oi. Okay. Um, so now I can answer some more questions. Um... Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Let's directly jump into the next game. And let's take a look what will happen here. Oops. What is going on? The game ended. That's because the series is already over. This is just a VOD to avoid some spoilers. So yeah, you already saw the series till the end. And this is just a VOD without any content coming up. And therefore you can now close the video and I hope you didn't get spoiled before at YouTube. Enjoy guys.